Well, I'm Michael Fowler. I'm professor of art at U University of South Carolina, Aiken. And I've been there about 20 years, um, taught in Nebraska and Tennessee prior to that. This um, series of uh, paintings has evolved through the 40 year period since I finished my thesis at uh, University of Nebraska in Lincoln. And everywhere we've lived, it's just been a um, soaking up the topography and the vegetation and the coloring from season to season. This is the first time where we've lived that I've noticed trees. In our backyard, there were some um, loblolly pines and some sweet gum, very tall trunked trees, very prominent. And for some reason, their trunks really stood out to me and they were just looming up. That changed the format of my paintings to vertical for, for several of them. I typically will paint from the studio, from memory and imagination, but I, um, I also work from photographs to some degree, but I also work plain air. So I'm just out, out of doors and getting the color information directly from nature, but it's always gonna be subject to my own artistic interpretation and depending on the colors squeezed out on the palette and my mood and any number of factors, I will just start jumping in and start painting, uh, typically. Uh, don't start with sketches. Um, I will just kind of be inspired by the way that the colors get put down and then layered. And then there are some, if you've worked with color before, color surprises. And maybe you're seeing some of that in these paintings. It's always refreshing to see the paintings in good light. I paint by natural light, not just outdoors, but indoors and so I've set up uh, a place in our home that gets mostly morning light <clears throat> but there are different times of the day and there are different color experiences different times of the day and if you've done any painting or photography or whatever you're aware or you're probably just an exceptionally observant person you're aware of well when the sun goes through the sky and there's in the evening, I really love those golden hues, you know. There are changes in the temperature of the color and I guess there's always that um, unpredictable element of color that keeps me challenged, keeps me surprised and again, not always good surprises, but I keep working until it passes the test of time. <laughs> in other words, if I can go through and change less and less, then hey, maybe there's, a, uh, maybe there's a, a possibility for this actually coming together. And I was really insistent on, yeah, I like the idea of the partition, but let's let the majority of the sight lines go to the back wall. So we've got that experience of depth, of, I mean, being able to see these from some distance because they are more impressionistic. And yeah, you're very aware of, yeah, this is paint on canvas. <laughs> um, as you get closer and you might even lose sight of the fact of the subject matter. But, um, but yeah, that we were looking forward to this space a lot because of that opportunity. Some will remind people that have traveled more broadly than I have of a different continent even. There are some because of their coloration in addition to the vegetation that said, that is Western Africa, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Um, but that also reminds me that there is that um, element of what people bring to the work you know, that's going to be as varied as, you know, any kind of initial intention I may have had. <laughs>